you know, the key is allow your son to be his authentic self and support him in that process, you know, and not define manhood for him based on far too often the rigid notions of manhood that were defined for you. We really need to begin to challenge, look at it, and, and really get in the process of deconstructing, redefining what we come to know as manhood. You almost have to learn to speak all over again because you realize that so much of your everyday conversation that the language that you use is rooted in oppression, uh, particularly in a male-dominating society. Like we're, we're, we're fairly conscious of how not to say racist things, right? But sexist things, they roll right off the tip of our tongue and we have no idea what we're saying. You actually have to train yourself in some respect how to speak. You have to think before you speak you have to practice that until it becomes instinctive that this is the new you. So much of uh, how we teach boys what it means to be a man is to actually distance themselves from the experience of women and girls. You know, boys are not allowed to express their feelings and emotions with the exception of anger. All right, and what does that do for us? We become very limited in our emotional intelligence. You know, so much of, of of our emotional intelligence is stagnated in this quest to define what it means to be a man. But I would ask many men to be courageous enough to be with your son in the way you be with your daughters. To engage in conversation, to ask him how he's feeling, to teach him to have permission to tell you what hurts, what's wrong, you know what I mean? To engage him in the way you would engage your daughter, you know? I, I like this place of humanity versus masculinity, right? I think women are a lot closer to humanity than men are. And men being taught to define manhood by distancing ourselves from the experience of women and girls, I think we're distancing ourselves from our own humanity in many respects. We believe that what we're looking for for men is more of a transformative experience. The, the truth of the matter is, there are traditional aspects of manhood, there are traditional aspects of what it means to be a woman, there are traditional aspects around gender roles and, and things. Many of these things we can't just, we, we don't want to just get rid of, right? We just want to move them away from being what's traditionally man versus what's traditionally women as to more to a place of what's needed as a people, right? And so I'm down with that.